Hi, this is Trevor Conkergood. Welcome to this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. And our topic for this week is about thread converting and how you can use the Floriani software to convert embroidery designs to and from any color palette and any thread palette that you choose. And so um, what we'll do to get started is pop onto the Floriani workspace. And if I go to my library and browse through, you know, to the free monthly designs and just go ahead and open up a design, um, when I click on onto my workspace, uh, you'll notice that the colors on the right hand side are um, pretty much always listed in the Floriani polyester thread chart. And down at the bottom, you know, if you look at your thread chart, they're all the Floriani colors. And if you mouse over to the left, there's a button here that says the pop up palette. And when you click on it, it will pop up a larger thread palette and it allows you to, you know, quickly and easily scroll through to find colors for your embroidery design. And so um, all of these colors are based upon the Floriani thread palette. Uh, but if you'd like to change your thread palette, then you can easily do that. Um, that's the button that's right beside the pop-up palette. It says select thread chart. And when I choose select thread chart, now it gives me a whole list of different thread manufacturers that you could choose from. And so you can scroll through and see all the different brands and um, whatever one you scroll and select. And so if I go ahead and for example, go to the quilter select perfect cotton plus, when I click right here, now the colors at the bottom of my workspace are from the Perfect Cotton Plus thread collection. Um, it didn't change the colors of my design, at least not yet. I could do that, um, but all I did so far is just change the thread palette at the bottom. Um, now what's interesting here is, um, I can have the software convert the design all in one click into the new thread palette. Um, to do that, I would use the button on the second row here that says match palette. And when I choose match palette, if I pop that up and scroll down, I could choose, you know, to match this whole palette to any thread palette. Now, this is kind of where it could be interesting because down at the bottom, you know that I set my thread palette um, to be the quilter select cotton thread. But what if I scroll up to the top and convert the embroidery design into the embellished matte thread? So now all the colors on the right are actually in the embellished matte thread collection. But notice down at the bottom, I still have the Quilter Select Perfect Cotton Plus as my thread palette. So the thing that's kind of neat here is if you click on a color and if I if I click here and it clicks everything, it simply means it's all grouped together. Um, and so I'll click to let go and maybe an easier way to select that pink egg is to find the color pink on the right and select there. Um, that will select the whole color, you know, because sometimes there's more than one sort of segment in a color. And by clicking over here, you'll ensure that you select all of them. And then um, notice when I selected this embellished matte thread, you know, number 1027 pink, notice down at the bottom, it highlights the closest match in the quilter select thread palette. So if I click on this other sort of 1034 blush, now it's highlighting the Quilter Select, um, you know, bubblegum, you know, number 125. And so that's how you can closest match. It'll show you and if you change the palette down at the bottom. So now let's change the palette to be something different. Maybe we'll go to like the um, Ice Accord Polyester. And if I select this embellish, you know, blush, it'll highlight in the design, but down in the bottom, it finds the closest match in the Isochord color palette. Now, if you just want the whole design quickly converted to Isochord, you can do it all with this button on the second row, the match to palette button. And then you simply choose the Isochord polyester. And now your designs are all in the Isochord polyester. Um, I'll start a new empty workspace and um, instead of opening up one of the free monthly designs, I'll just use my library to browse to um, some other designs that I have that I know are, you know, in the PES embroidery format. And so notice that even when I open up a design that's not a Floriani design, um, it instantly goes to whatever color palette 
is down at the bottom of my workspace. And so when I opened it up, it instantly converted that design into the Isochord polyester. So uh, basically whatever thread palette you have selected um, at the current time will be uh, what the design gets converted into when you uh, click and drag from the browser to open the design. Um, in your preferences, there is an option for color match on loading. And what that means is when you use the open tool. And so in that case, if you click on open and then you browse around your embroidery design, you know, your, your computer to somewhere where you know that you have an embroidery design. And so I'll go to my C drive and my Floriani folder because I know that that's where I have embroidery designs. And notice that if I come here and I open up one of those same folk art birds from the PES and when I click open, that it will now open in the Floriani color palette. Um, and so that is a setting that you can choose. And again, it's under program preferences. Uh, you could choose this to be any thread brand that you wanted to. And so, of course, we hope that you love the Floriani polyester thread. But if you need to set your software to automatically convert on opening to any other of the thread uh, brands that we have, then uh, that's how you can set it to be on default when you open up. And like I said, if you're using the browser tabs to click and drag to bring in, then whatever, you know, do it one more time. Click on new workspace will set the um, workspace at the bottom to be the, uh, for example, the embellished matte thread. And now we'll browse to our embroidery um, design collection. And these are those same PES designs and I'll click and drag another one of them. And notice then when it comes in, it instantly converted into the embellished matte thread collection, which is the one that I had selected at the bottom. And so, yeah, it's very easy to use your Floriani software to convert your designs to be um, displayed in whichever thread collection that you want. So we hope you enjoyed this week's RNK software video of the week. Until next week, thanks for listening and bye for now.